So we are talking about being halfway through 2022. It's been a tough few months financially, so probably mm -hmm. a lot of people can relate with inflation impact, Fed rate hikes, and turmoil in the stock market. So it's important to set yourself up for success for the next six months ahead. That brings me to our first live guest this morning. Jesse Braden will join us live. He is the owner of J. Braden Financial, which serves clients all throughout North Carolina. Jesse, thanks for kicking us off this morning. Great to see you. Great to see you too, Audrey. Thanks for having me back. You're welcome. So my first question for you is, what is a good place to start when we're looking at our finances for the year? Where do we begin? Well, as you said, we're almost halfway through this year. So it's a good place for us to start with reallocating our financial plan. And this is so important. What I want us to do is I want us to think about maybe going to the dentist. You know, we go to the dentist twice a year. Why do we do that? Well, because things change and it's the same with our financial plans. It's time for us to review, reallocate and renew. So let's speak with our financial advisors and Audrey, it's time to scrape the plaque off of our portfolios. Ah, I see what you did there. Okay, Jesse, what should folks look out for as far as their retirement plan goes? Gotta be honest, I don't think about my retirement that often at my age. Well, this might help you uh, think about it a little bit more because our retirement plans are a lot like a well-engineered car that needs care and maintenance. And we all know that our car needs an oil change every six months or 5,000 miles, whichever comes first. So if you've put a large amount of miles on your car recently, you know you're gonna have to do an oil change more frequently. And this volatile stock market, Audrey, it's put some more miles on our retirement plans. So we need to bring it in, speak to your financial advisor, reallocate, rebalance. It's time for a tune-up on your retirement plan. Okay, what about, should people start thinking about buying life insurance? That's another hot topic, right, for some? Yeah, unfortunately, Audrey, today, I don't have a witty um, analogy for life insurance, but it's so important because it's one of the foundations of a strong financial plan. So if you don't have it yet, you need to look into it and get it. And here's one other key point. With inflation and the rising cost of real estate, all of our responsibilities have become more expensive. So you may want to revisit your life insurance plan if you already have it and speak with a licensed agent. All right, and if you don't have one, your recommendation is to get one ASAP. Absolutely, this is something you can't overlook. You need to have this to have a good financial plan. Okay, and lastly, what's important to keep in mind this summer? A lot of people wanna go on vacation. You know, you may wanna splurge a little bit, especially with, you know, the high traveling, you know, holiday weekend that we are about to see get underway. What are your tips? Absolutely, inflation, we can't avoid it, Audrey. It's everywhere. We, you know, it's on the news, we see it in the grocery store. It's time for us to look at our budgets and know that everything's gonna cost more. So here's a familiar way for us to deal with this. Let's look at it like a diet and count our financial calories. If we know our paycheck is our financial bank, of calories. If we're going to splurge a little bit on travel, we're going to have to find some place or binge, let's say, on some travel. We're going to have to find a place to cut back so we keep ourselves within our financial diet and we keep our financial figures. Audrey, it's not going to be fun if you don't do this because you're going to end up with a bunch of bloated debt. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, Jesse. You never fail with those analogies. Thank you for joining us here on The Local Vibe. And everyone at home, you can get in touch with Jesse and his team if you'd like. The website's on your screen, jbradenfinancial.com.